Title, Biden drops the mic, Niger's prayers and fan need to be free. TL, DR, after a military takeover in Niger, President Biden says, yo, free President Bazoom and fam ASAP. Plus, some drama about calling this chaos a coup and, oh, the US Embassy in Niger. It's on a mini vacation. Was democracy just ghosted in Niger? Hey, fam. You remember Niger, right? They had a whole moment in 2021, when President Mohamed Bazoum took the throne after the first peaceful, democratic transition since they said bye to France. Well, plot twist. A military clique, with General Abdurrahman Chiani flexing at the front, thought it'd be cool to arrest Bazoum and crown Chiani the king of the hill. In the midst of the chaos, President Biden, wearing his world police hat, said, the Nigerian peeps deserve to pick their captain. Democracy isn't a game, let's respect it. So, he's kinda asking, can we respect the whole democracy thing? Speaking of respecting things, there's been some tightrope walking around the coup term. Like, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, isn't it? A duck. But then again, maybe it's a let's not upset anyone because we've got some dollars in this game thing. The US is chilling with a cool $200 million in humanitarian and economic aid in Niger. Not calling it a coup straight off the bat might be a smart move to keep the lines open. But with all the drama, Uncle Sam decided to send some of his folks from the US Embassy in Niamey on a quick break. Everyone needs a spa day now and then, right? Don't panic, though, they're still around for emergencies. Secretary of State Antony Blinken chimed in from down under, basically saying, yo, if this coup thing continues, our financial hugs might just stop. You might be wondering about the US troops in Niger. Those 1,100-ish heroes working on the secret spy stuff? As of now, they're sticking around. While the European homies, think France, Germany, and Italy, are hitting the pause button on their aid and suggesting their peeps get the next flight out. Questions to ponder. So, why the hesitation to call this a coup when it looks so coup Why? Is it all about the Mullah? If you were in Niger right now, would you take that evacuation flight? Spill the beans. What's your take on all this? Do you think President Biden is right in calling for Bazoom's release? Or are things more complicated than they seem? And here's the million dollar question, in a world where democracy seems to be on a roller coaster, how do we keep it from flying off the rails? Let's chat.